Hey guys, so when the going gets tough, um, my wife told me to get a job and that's a good way to earn money in a difficult time of business. Um, but let's have a look at my CV. Come on, let's have a look at my CV. Um, well, I've been doing basically my own company for almost 10 years and um, well, I'm, I'm 38 years old, I think. Um, born in 1978, you can work it out. And I guess I'm quite experienced in a whole bunch of things. I'm, I'm passionate about the web, Linux, and all that stuff. Um, but am I really a programmer? Um, to be honest, I've been going through some sort of like, you know, programming test questions, and they boggle my mind because um, they're so far from reality, beggars belief. Um, you know, I've coded a, a, a whole bunch of things on GitHub and uh, billing systems, but never mind that. You need to, um, in, in a typical interview question, you need to, like, I don't know, um, do some left padding and print out some uh, fizz buzz or something like that. But let me focus on, on the problem with here in Singapore. So I guess I'm a, a generalist um, and... Uh, and I'm pretty senior, I'm an amazing engineer, but so where does it leave me in the market? Because I'm not like a crazy programmer junkie and I'm not cheap. And basically that's the big problem here in Singapore. Um, as, as, a, as an expatriate, as someone who actually needs to hold an employment pass with a dependent, I need to earn north of $5,000 just to get the pass. And most engineer jobs, I dare say in Singapore, do not pay north of $5,000. Number two, contracting. So contracting is what I've relied in the past. I've contracted in various companies in London, and in, um, in Australia. And there are actually new, uh, what do you call it, contracting companies here in um, Singapore, which I did try out. But... They were even sort of less professional than the ones you would find in London. They were very aggressive, you know, doing definitely the whole bait and switch type stuff. Um, but the thing that I found really um, annoying with them was that they were demanding to see my previous month's payslips. Um, they, you know, they weren't going with the rate that I gave them. So, um, oh dear. Hmm. So there was a bit of a trust issue there. And I'm, I don't really even have payslips. I work for myself. So the whole contracting industry in Singapore is pretty strange because it's actually very easy to hire and fire people here. So there's no real need for contracting as it, as it works in um, Europe. And um, as a result, most companies just don't use contractors, I would say. The third problem with um, being in Singapore, and this is probably the most significant one, I, I don't know if you looked in a map recently, but Singapore is in the plus eight zone. It's pretty far from everything. It's, it's, it's far from Australia. It's far from Europe. And you can absolutely forget about working with anyone in the US. So obviously people have asked me, why don't you get a remote job? Well, the time zone basically makes it impossible to work with someone abroad, really. Um, or, or just really, really difficult. So there's another thing. So number one, cost. Number two, the contracting is not really an option. And number three, remote jobs, since the time zone is very strange, it's a no-go.